it's your misfortune and none of my own. Hi, I oh, get along, you little dog. You know that the ferry will be your new home. And now for the thrilling adventures of Lightning Jim. For over three years, the Black Baron has led his band of cutthroats and gunmen, leaving behind a trail of destruction and death. But at last, he's finally established a hideout for himself in the Cumber Mountains. And into that region come Lightning Jim and Whitey. Their instructions are to work from undercover, but to get the Black Baron and break up his gang. They have arrived at the town of Cumberville, sprawling on the foot of the Cumber Range, and are just about to stable their horses when... See, Lightning, uh, what's that bell for? Well, it usually is ring the church bell in case of fire or something serious. Reckon we'll mosey along down that way, Whitey. Look, Lightning, there's two dead fellas tied under horses over there. I see all right, Whitey. Reckon things are happening thick and fast around you. Two more of my deputies killed and tied on their horses. And another note pinned on them. What does it say this time, Sheriff? Well, it says, take a tip from us, Sheriff, and resign. The Black Baron makes his own law. All right, now quiet, 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 man. So I reckon you know what this means. Now I need a couple of new deputies. Well, how about it? Uh, Flint, there ain't no use bucking that gang, and you know it. Yeah, you've had six deputies brought back to your dead. What do you think we can do about it? And yeah, none of us will volunteer. We ain't crazy. Yeah. Uh, and if you've got good sense, you'll resign, too. Yeah. There ain't no sense walking right into a trap. I Here, Brad, your answer? Can't they get one of you to help me out on this? Are you going to let the Black Baron dictate to you? Uh, you know me, Flint. I've been running the spread here for a long time. I ain't playing with the Black Baron. But I sure ain't playing against him. Hey, why don't you quit while you got a chance, huh? Yeah, yeah. Well, now, wait a minute, wait a minute, man. Right, right, yeah. Maybe you don't travel so good. No. I was elected sheriff about two months ago. I ain't hardly got started on my term of office yet. And I ain't quitting. If it don't get me some deputies, well, I reckon I'll have to go it alone. Yeah. <laughs> Whitey, here's where we get in the game. Hey, what you going to do, right now? We was told to play the cards the way they was dealt. As long as we didn't let on that we was marshal. Just follow my lead, Whitey. Hey there, mister. Hey, 21. I understand you right. You're looking for a couple of deputy sheriffs? Huh? Sure, sure. You know where I can find a couple sort of handy like? <laughs> well, we get paid for it. Here's one. I reckon my partner here might join up, too. I'll say, Whitey. Oh, sure, sure. I had never been a deputy sheriff before, but uh, just to try anything once. Uh, how much does this job pay? Fifty months and found. Yeah, and the county pays your funeral expenses. <laughs> 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 hey, Flint Carson, if you hire these two greenhorns and get them killed too like the other six, you're a cockeyed, stubborn mule. That's my sentiment. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. it's yeah. right so. It's right so. Yeah. If you two want the job, you're hired. Come on down to the office with me. I'll tell you just what kind of buzzsaw you're running into. You want to run the other way? Well, there's still time. Well, there you are. Ranches burn, cattle run off. <laughs> and anybody who gets in the way gets killed. You must be a pretty brave man, Sheriff. 
You still hang on? Hey, uh, you ain't afraid of this black bear and me, be? Yeah, I'm afraid, all right. Ain't nothing brave about me. I'm just mad. I had a ranch, too, about three months ago. Some of the prettiest cows you ever laid eyes on. The black baron took them? That's it. I woke up one morning to find myself all alone. My cows all gone. My two cow hands dead. You know why? I got real lonesome out that ranch without my cows. Didn't have nothing else to do, so we all took this job here. What happened to the last sheriff? Yeah. Uh, black baron got him. Yeah? One of these days, he'll, well, he'll probably get me, too, but then I'm going down fighting. I ain't giving up. Well, see, uh, won't nobody else around there help you, any? Oh, they ain't exactly quitters. They just got scruples against getting killed. Me? Well, I ain't got no scruples. Reckon I'm just... Well, I'm too mad to have any too much sense. Well, maybe the three of us. My name is Jim Jennings, and Whitey here, he ain't got no other name but Whitey. Yo, I ain't so fancy. You just call me Whitey. Well, I think the three of us might bother the Black Baron a mite. What's your sentiments, Whitey? Me? Yeah. Well, I think I'm beginning to get mad, too. Maybe by and by I work myself up a good temper. Well, then I tell you things will begin to happen. Well, you made your own choice, but I'm glad to have you with me. Come on. Yeah, I'll take you out and show you the devil's beast, Pam. That's where the, that's where the Bairdens get out like. Oh, you know, well, maybe we have to score the dish pen for him. <laughs> Yeah, you see? You see, it's shaped just like a dishpan. And as far as I'm concerned, the Baron's the devil, all right. Yeah, it's a deep valley with steep hills all around it. Now, here, here, you can see good from here. Yeah. Oh, boy, hold oh, up. Who is? Yo, yo, there goes the river. Look, Jim, uh, there's a little rocky ridge along one side. Uh, up high there, uh, see that? Yeah, I see it. Reckon that's the way in. That's the only way in. And that's guarded all the time. Two men and a couple of rivals could hold off an army there. That river's got to go someplace. Where does it come out on the other side? It doesn't come out. What do you mean that uh, you can't go no place? Well, it goes underground at the far side of the valley. Runs clear under the mountains, I reckon. At least I never heard nobody who really knew where it went. Hmm, underground river flowing through the valley, then disappearing down under the ground. Well, hmm. it's one of them natural uh, uh, phenomenon. You know, like they get read up in books. One minute to see it. And the uh, next minute you don't. Well, I surely don't see how Posse could get in through that ridge if the black bear didn't want to let them in. You're right there, Whitey. They're safe enough, all right, as long as they stay behind that oh, death mask. Oh, 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 get it, oh. get it now. Get see, it. see, I saw the right. smoke from that shot. Yeah, yeah that's now. Just a little warning not to come no closer. Burn their hide. Let's get going. The more I look at that darn dish pan, the more I think of my cows. And the more I think of my cows, the matter I get. That night, the sheriff, Lightning Jim, and Whitey have just finished supper and are walking down the street talking about that all-engrossing subject, the Black Baron. Well, I tell you, I still think there ought to be some way we can smoke them poor cats out there that were fish pen. Well, I reckon we'll have to put a head to it, Whitey. Maybe we can figure out something. Come on in here, boys. I'm going to send a telegram. Oh. Just getting ready to lock up the office. Say, Lou, this is Jim Jimmings, and tell the fellow's name Whitey. They hired on as deputies today. This is uh, Lou uh, Benson, our uh, telegrapher. Howdy, Jim. Howdy. How, are you, How do you do? You two got more nerve than I got, but reckon I'll live longer. Well, Lou, I wouldn't mind betting on that if I was a betting man. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't. Well, yeah, all my family lives a long time, but my grandfather, he, he's still going strong. Uh, yeah. And um, I wrote out a telegram what to send for me, Lou. Now, what does it go off tonight? Sure. Uh, sure. It says, uh, to Sam Ogilvy, Attorney General, State of Arizona, Capital, Phoenix. Yeah, you reckon that address will get him all right, Luke? Oh, sure thing. Let me see now. Dear Sam, I'm well and hope you are the same. Yes, sir. We've been having a little trouble down here lately. Mm -hmm. All my cows got stole, so they elected me sharp so as I could catch the black baron who's been doing all the stealing. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, <coughs> yeah, what's the matter with you, Jenny? Uh, I reckon I caught a little cold. Uh, something in my throat. A cold in the throat? Well, yeah, turpentine's good for that. Turpentine and the wolf rock. Yep. But, but, go on, Lou, with the rest of it. Yeah, it says, uh, I got me a couple new deputies today. The other six got killed. These two new ones don't scare easy, but the three of us ain't now, so will you please ask the governor to send a troop down here? And... Oh. <coughs> 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 I guess I'm uh, getting some of that cold, too. Yeah, I... <coughs> 
Yeah, I can't understand it. Weather's been grand lately. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, go on, though. Well, uh, you go on to say, the black baron is an ornery, low-down, bad-smelling, hairy-legged tarantula, and I think the governor ought to help me get my cows back. The old friend, Flint Carson. <laughs> yes, the uh, cows was black with white spots. Yes, and I'd get some results and quick. Yeah, you ain't going to fool around no longer. Hey, Sheriff, Sheriff. Yeah. The Black Star is about 30 of his gang just held up the bank. Well, well they're they headed this way on the road out of town. Yeah, oh, so I'm right, right into town, Willie. Come on. Listen, Sheriff. Ain't no sense in our going out there. It's just three of us. We can't stop 30 men. Oh, are you getting scared, Jim? No, just careful. I'm hankering to get the Black Baron personal. And I can't do it if I'm dead. Wait, I'll lock the door. Yeah. Well, I ain't hiding here like I was wearing petticoats. And I don't want to shoot around here, Sheriff, and that's final. You're a lunch-headed old fool if you think you can stop the Baron and 30 of his men. Here they're coming. I can see them. Get down, all of you, so they don't see us through the window. Get down, Sheriff. We don't want no trouble. We don't start ourselves. Well, I'm aiming to start some. If I can just get one man. Sheriff, don't. Ah, that one. Great gun. Right through the window. Uh, now you've done it. The whole mob will be down. Put that light out, Lou. Hurry. Yeah. I'm putting it out right now. <laughs> well, I reckon the Baron can't take a go. Well, we got to get out of here. We can't hold him off. Any place around you to take cover, Lou? There's a bunch of empty barrels here, and I'm pulling one over my head right now. You're me, too. Good idea. Come on, hurry up. Oh, I'd rather shoot us out with them. Ah, yeah, they're awful quiet out there. I'm ready for something. Give me one of them barrels. Get out, Sheriff. Quick. We'll open this window in the back. Uh, if we got out that way, maybe. Well, they'll know we couldn't get out without them seeing us. Well, maybe they won't stop the thing. Keep still now. Yeah. Quiet. Come on out! Listen, you want us to drag you up your coats and bombings? Yeah. Come on. All right, men. Come on. Let's get it. Yeah, let's get it. Let's get it. I can't see nobody. Well, there's a light in there a few minutes ago, and ain't there now. Hey, look. The window's open. Yeah, probably just took one lucky shot. Oh, I'm gone, that barrel. Oh, dang, you're busting my toe off. Yeah, window's open. I reckon him or them or whoever it was got out here all right. Yeah. Hey, hey. There seems to be a lot of barrels around here. Huh? Maybe we better light a light and make a good search. Yeah. 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 Let me see. Yeah. Can't budge this barrel. Yeah. She's full all right. <laughs> Molasses. Got a leak in it. Molasses all over the floor here. Well, I guess they must have skipped out, boys. Come on, there ain't nothing here. Let's get going. Yeah, they can come out now. I was in the barrel that one Jasper stumbled over. My heart went all the way down on my boots. I never breathed once the whole time they was in here. Why did you? You all right, boy? Come on out. They've gone now. You feel me, Wesley. The pair of us can't fool him, I don't think I'll ever get myself on stock again. <laughs> Will the Attorney General send troops down in response to Flint's request? Just how could the Black Baron be driven out of his devil's dishpan? We shall see in part two of the adventures of Lightning Jim, which follows immediately. And now for part two of the adventures of Lightning Jim in The Devil's Dishpan. 
Now it's morning following the bank robbery at Cumberville. Was the bank plumb cleaned out, Flint? No, yes. Nothing left but the furniture. And that's all wrecked. Freight agent's powerful worked up, too, because the you know, station don't look so good either this morning. Well, we ain't exactly in favor around here. Give me a viscous half scrub myself until I am raw in places. But, but whenever I get through scrubbing, I find some more molasses. <laughs> <laughs> well, I reckon, Whitey, you're going to be quite a favorite with the flies. Yeah, I don't think that's so funny. Hey, listen, Flint. Yes? I got a plan for getting into the devil's dish pan and for getting the baron out. Oh, you're loco. There can't be such a plan. Yeah, well, I think I got one that might work. Well, if you've got a plan for getting in there, you're wasting your time being deputy sheriff. You ought to go on the stage and saw a woman in half. Sheriff, I've been looking at a map of this country showing the devil's dish pan in detail. And I could draw you a picture of that. I used to spend lots of time up there when I was a young sprout. Well, it's true, ain't it, that a man can ride up the side of the mountain and be directly over the river at the opposite end of the pass? You mean, get around on the other side? Yeah. Why, sure, that's easy done. But what good does it do you? You'd still be miles up in the air, and the black bear and his miles down below. Can't hurt him none that way. No, well, I think I can and hurt him plenty. Yeah, but you got to up your sleeve, him. Me and you's going up the side of the mountain till we locate the spot where the river goes down underneath. When we got that done, we're going to watch a chance, and I'm going down on a rope. You mean by yourself? Yeah. Well, never before in my life did I ever hear of a man so anxious to get to Hades that he was willing to crawl down. Well, he won't be expecting nothing from that end. Why didn't we ought to be able to work it out all right? Uh, yeah, but uh, what we going to do when we get there, Jim? Well, I'll take along some dynamite. And if I got it figured right, once that dynamite goes to work, there won't be no place for that river to go through, and the valley will flood and flood quick. Yeah, it would. That's a powerful river. It'd flood that valley as easy as, well, as filling the everyday dish pan. You mean that you, you are going to dynamite the, the rocks around the river, dam it up, and flood out them scorching weasels? That's it. Of course, the rocks won't keep the river back forever, but they ought to hold it back long enough to drive out the Black Baron. And he wants to get drowned in his own trap. Well, yeah, hold on here. Where'd I come in the picture if you and Whitey's going to do all the dirty work? I uh, reckon you could get a few men lined up who'd take a chance on capturing them critters when they get flooded out? Sure, like I told you. All the folks around here want is a such, such a chance. Sheriff, yeah, you get some dynamite lined up for me and organize your posse for tonight. Yeah? Come on, Whitey. We got riding to do and plenty of it. We're going to scrub out the dishpan for the devil. <laughs> It's all right, Lightning. There's where the river goes under the mountain, all right. Yeah, see that ledge down there? Little no. to the right? No. Well, we wait until it begins to get dark. And we both make it down to that ledge. From there, I go on alone. Well, I don't see why you don't let me do that, Lightning. Eh? I'll After go all. down. You manage the rope from up above. Oh, I wish this was tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to like tonight. Well, we better take a little rest. We can't start climbing down until it gets dark. Lightning. What? What's, what's the trouble, Whitey? I just found some more molasses. <laughs> that evening, when darkness came, Whitey and Jim started their dangerous climb down the side of the mountain. They had fastened strong ropes at the top to steady them, but any slip would have been fatal. Well... Every oar lightning. If he made the ledge sure, right? Yeah. From here down, it's just about 30 feet. Got the rest of the rope all right? Yo, there, uh, that's wrapped around my waist. Uh, wait not till I get that on wrap. Well, we're passing it here on a rock, and I'll slide down. But if I have to get back in a hurry... Oh, you don't... won't be waiting around anyway with that fuse lit and the dynamite. I reckon you're right. Anyway, be ready to pull up in a hurry. Hey, what do you think I'm going to be doing? Now, Whitey, now, don't get worried. I'll be all right. Well... Got that rope fast? You're all right around this rock here, and I'm fastening two ropes. I don't need two. Well, two ropes is better than one. I'm fastening All both. right, all right. Suit yourself, buddy. Well, here I go. Be careful, lightning. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed till you get back. And 
while Whitey was letting Lightning Jim down the steep mountainside on the rope, below in the devil's dishpan, the Black Baron and two of his men were talking. To one side, the river rushed along to its underground channel. I tell you, boys, I don't like the idea of those two hombres were all going up the side of the mountain today. <laughs> yeah, but we got nothing to worry about, boss. They left Pronto. We watched them go. Yeah, they can't hurt us none from up there. No, nor even if they could get down here. Well, you two go on back to camp. I'm just going to mosey around here a spell. I got the creeps tonight for some reason. Well, if you want anything, just tell. Hey, better come on back with us and sit in the poker game, boss. I'm feeling lucky tonight. Reach for the sky, Baron. What? If you make one wrong move, I'll let daylight through you. Hey, what you doing with that dynamite? You ain't gonna blow me. Shut him up. I'm going to... Don't go for your gun. Curse you. Oh. I warned oh. you not to go for your gun. Uh, Whitey, uh, hurry up with that other rope. Uh, you want to me uh, up. He's gonna leave me here to get blown up. Shut up. Uh, I'm trying to get this rope around you. Help yourself a little. I uh, can't. I uh, think I'm dying. You'll die if you don't help yourself a little. Uh, Hold on, Whitey. I'll climb up the other rope. Uh, hurry up that dynamite. If you don't want to be blowed up, you'd better help yourself a little. Uh, hurry up. I am, Whitey. Uh, this is the can. Hey, what? Are they shooting? What's wrong, boy? Quiet, Baron. I'll cut the rope and let you fall right on top of that dynamite. All right. Uh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, just... What's that burning, huh? Hey, look. Somebody's climbing up the side of the mountain there. Hey, hey, hey. Hurry up, Nathan. Hurry up. Keep shooting, Matt. Keep shooting him While all of this has been going on, Flint Carson, with a posse of 15 men, has been waiting close to the Cumber Pass leading into the Devil's Dishpan. Well, I don't know if them two hearin scarings don't get back. I'm gonna miss them more in the dome of cows. I never seen two men alike more. That won't work, Flint. I told you before, it just won't work. They can't get down those mountains, but if they could, they would Well, I don't know. I don't know about that. They might be able to do it because... Hey, here it is. He made it. They let the dynamite off. Hey. How do you like that? If it works, it yeah. won't take long for that valley to fill. That river carries a lot of water. Well, I'd feel a heap better if I knew Jim and Whitey got out of there all right. Uh, just what do you know about those two hombres, Flint? Seems funny they'd mosey into town this way and sort of take charge of things. I don't need to know nothing about them. As far as I'm concerned, they can have anything they want. And if I ain't got it, well, I'll help them to get it. What do we do now, Flint? Nothing. We just wait until we see if the rats come out. Then we make them throw down their guns or we shoot them down one by one. They could keep us from going in through the pass, but now we And now we can keep them from coming out unless they do as we say. You'll shred it. <laughs> When daylight began to break over the mountain, Lightning Jim and Whitey joined the sheriff and his posse, bringing their prisoner, Black Baron, with them. Jim! Whitey! You got back safe! Hooray! <laughs> Had any excitement around here, Jim? Sure. Did you get the men? Did they come off? Peace for these babies. They come out running, threw down the guns, and we gathered them up. Well, just like picking daisies. <laughs> The rest of the boys started back to town. I was... Uh, hey, who you got there? Well, this here is a baron, prisoner number one in the collection. The baron? But they told us he got a blowed up along with two more of the men. Leastwise, nobody could find them. Well, the other two got blowed up, but the baron here decided to come along with us. <laughs> <laughs> I still think you could take rabbits out of a head, Jim. You are a natural born magician. <laughs> Well, 
Well, Sheriff, now we got a few minutes of quiet with all the prisoners behind bars. Uh, I got a kind of a little uh, confession. Oh, uh, that's right. We was kind of fooling you there, Sheriff. <laughs> we wasn't what we was supposed to be at all. Man, I don't understand this. Uh, what was you supposed to be? Well, we were supposed to be deputy sheriffs, but we couldn't be no deputy sheriffs because we was something else all the time. You were... Uh, telegram for you, Sheriff. Came yesterday, but I couldn't find you no place to give it to you. Now, here. Now, excuse me. Excuse sure, me. Sure. Like, you know, sure. like, Go right well, ahead. Well, read this telegram here. It says, uh, uh, from Sam Ogilvy. Attorney General, let me see now. Dear Flint, it says here. I'm reading now, it says here. Yeah. Dear Flint, I talked to the governor about sending a troop out to get the Black Baron, but the governor says it isn't uh, uh, necessary because Lightning Jim Whipple, a United States Marshal, and Whitey Larson, his deputy, have already been... What? Uh, you two fellas? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that's what they meant. I meant that we wasn't what we was supposed to be. Go on with your telegram. Oh, Let me you warn me. These people can't frame us, thank God. No, no, no. What else does your friend see there, Mr. Freeman? Yeah, yeah we'll find a place here. We'll find you see. Yeah, he says they've already sent. And the governor says to tell you there was enough reward money on the Black Baron to buy all the cows in Arizona, Texas, and Colorado. Your friend Flam. <laughs> no, what are you going to do there? Uh, stop being sheriff and uh, start the uh, ranching again? I don't think I'd ever like any cows as well as I did them first ones. Reckon I'll just keep on being a sheriff. <laughs> And so ends another thrilling episode in the lives of those two famous marshals, Lightning Jim Whipple and Whitey Larson. Mm -hmm.